man Ron Burgundy goes head to head with Aussie media legend Ray Martin. He doesn't stand a chance. The smouldering looks of Anderson Cooper, the vastly underrated youthfulness of Larry King, mix it with Mal Walden, and even then, that hideously talented creation could only imagine soaring to the dizzying heights of anchorman Ron Burgundy. I'm ready. Good evening, I'm Ron Burgundy. Here's what's going on in your world tonight. Beginning as the anchorman of San Diego's award-winning Action 4 News team, before heading the World News Center with wife Veronica Corningstone, Ron's not afraid to get his hands dirty for a scoop. We woke up the mama. Fiercely passionate about issues that affect not just the community, but also himself. Scotch is got scotch. Here it goes down, down into my belly. And often imitated. I was fired from a network for wearing jewelry that looked just like those. Yep, that's an anchorman porno. Ron has travelled to Australia to share his professional wisdom and moustache grooming tips with us all. It's sure to be news, but not as we know it. Gentlemen. Ron Burgundy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's wonderful. Wow. That's very nice. Ron. And I, I just want to say it is an honor for me to be here in Australia, and I want to make sure I say it the right way, the, the proper Australian greeting, konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, and put another fanny on the Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, Ron, so, um, if you don't mind me saying so... I was nervous about that. Yeah, I got the, those two right. You, I, so you know what? Yes, fit it right on. in. Yeah. Fit it yeah. right yeah. in. Thank you. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, you, you look spectacular, I have to say. Well, um, that's a given. <laughs> but, but how long does it take? Uh, this uh, can take anywhere from six to eight hours. <laughs> uh, today, it only took three. So I uh, uh, got it done in a jiffy because I knew you guys run a tight ship here. Mm. And um, I didn't want to keep Ray waiting. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yes. I appreciate it. Yes. Now, Ron, you've had some incredible career highlights. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to name just one? Oh, my gosh. Well, I've covered ten wars, um, <laughs> two of which I personally started. <laughs> um, you know, many political events, yeah. uh, various things. It's hard to say. Probably the most uh, most important thing I've done in my career, either professional or personal-wise, was the was the night I made love to Bruce Lee. <laughs> How was that? I, I can't even describe it. And uh, it was just. Two, two beings at the top of their professions, yeah. just <laughs> lightning quick movements, and, uh, and before you know it, we're both in satin robes smoking a cigarette, and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. That sort of, Ron, that sort of leads me into, I read your book, which uh -huh. has left me off at the top. Yes. Um, Ron Burgundy. Um, it, it outlines there your background. So you, you, you grew up in the Midwest in America. In Iowa, um, yes. Hagglesworth, with, Iowa. With, with a Mexican background or not? Was that totally Mexican? Uh, no, no, you no. Did, I went to yes. a, a Catholic school, Our Lady, uh, Queen of Chewbacca High School. Uh, <laughs> and, and how did uh, that influence the, your career and your, and your character? How much did that influence come? The coming Western from America? Well, it, you yeah. know, it instilled all the values yeah. in me. Mm. Um, it taught me, taught me how to steal. And, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of backstabbing in the news game. Right, yeah. Ray? I mean, you have to watch your back. You do it, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> goes for you too, people. Watch your back. Ron, this is a curly one for you, but I know you're up for any question. Mm -hmm. Please. What, what I'm an open book. Yeah, what would the world be like if there was no news at all? You're a real son of a bitch, you know that? <laughs> uh, I mean, that would be like no Christmas. You know, I, I think we need our news. It's, uh, there's a phrase in the United States, the fourth estate. It, yeah. it, it keeps the powerful in check. Um, Do we need all the, all the war and all the death and all that stuff? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> it's what sells the news, and uh, without it, let's face it, there'd be nothing to watch. You're right. Right. It's, it's, it's well known that you, you, you've been at the forefront of news and the way that it's developed. I recently found out that you were the first to cover a, a live car chase, live on air. Yes. Uh, where's the future of news? Where are we going? Uh, the future of news is in a single word, robots. <laughs> 
And uh, well, how could a robot do what you do? Uh, believe me, they're going to be doing a lot more than what I can do. Uh, robots are just. Uh, they're gonna blow your mind. <laughs> yeah. Could, could a robot make love to Bruce Lee? Uh, oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> what about a, a robot that looks exactly like Bruce Lee coming to your house every night with an open invitation? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, what the, that's what's in store mm. in the future. <laughs> Ron, there was some big international news today, um, including, of course, Conrad Murray's revelation that he held Michael Jackson's penis every mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it doesn't... <laughs> doesn't surprise me. Every doctor I've ever had has held my penis. <laughs> and, um, every night? Just about every night, and then I usually find out they're not a physician at all. Uh, they're usually a carpenter or someone posing as a doctor. Um, but that, that's, that's, a, that's a weird one. That's, I don't think we saw that one. Now, Rob, and I thought you've defended the Canadian mayor, um, Rob Ford, um, mm. who's admitted that he smoked crack. Mm. Is that a smart thing to do as a, a top newsman? You know, I've done it a handful of times, and, uh, um, it's not that bad. Um, uh, I'm not saying run out and smoke crack, of course not. Uh, but, you know, hey, look. You've never done it on air, though, have you? No, of course not. But if anyone has any crack in the studio... <laughs> now, Ron, for anyone who's just... Georgie, let me take over here. <laughs> Leanne Ellison. The American woman who was criticized for cross-training while heavily pregnant, and she might have been drink-driving as well, has boasted online about her post-baby body. The 35-year-old welcomed son Skyler earlier this month, and she told the haters that they can kiss her CrossFit arse. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. Is that the first time you've ever used arse? Uh, that's the first time I've ever w used the word arse. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, some good news for Labour. With the latest opinion poll showing the opposition's enjoying a surge in popularity. The first Fairfax Nielsen poll, horrible poll by the way, <laughs> since the election sees Labour's two-party preferred vote up more than five points to 52 percent versus the coalition on 48. But Tony Abbott remains the preferred prime minister. <laughs> Uh, any big shocks there in that poll for you, Ron? You, uh... Well, I, the biggest shock, I thought, was that uh, the Green Party went up from 9% to 11%, mm. and uh, I just don't understand how you can have an entire political party with people of just the last name Green. <laughs> <laughs> How is that effective in any way? And like, it's kind of remarkable. No one's that, ever raised yeah. that before. The last yeah. time you were here, though, Julia Gillard. Uh, well, Julie, you remember Julia Gillard, the red-headed prime minister? Oh, Julia. Mm. <laughs> yes. She's oh, probably I watching any her. message for her. <laughs> Julia, I know you got a lot of time on your hands right now. <laughs> and so do I. <laughs> Conclusions you yeah. made from that. Yeah. It's great to have you in this country, and you do travel the world. We know that. I do. I mean, you have already you've already mentioned the word fanny. That can get you in trouble in this country. Do you know what a fanny is in this country? Uh, I have no idea. No. It's. Uh, what do you think it is? Uh, I, I believe it's a small rodent. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that? I thought it meant backside in your country. Oh, back. Oh no, no. In our country, yes. yes. A fanny, a rump. Yes. Yeah. Front. A caboose. But here, sure. it here it means the front. Front side four. Well, a car? <laughs> for what? For a front bottom. A front bottom. For, for, for a woman. Mm. A woman. For, right. <laughs> for the, the crotchal region. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> right. So yeah, it's very <laughs> silly to refer to that area as the fanny. It yeah. makes you laugh. <laughs> you have to stop talking about touching fannies, wouldn't you? No. And, well, and, and never name a child fanny. <laughs> <laughs> right? mm. I mean, maybe it's a, a newsreader thing. Ray, have you any had, had any <laughs> linguistic awkwardness in your career? I have. A, I did a 60-minute story once in France, and uh, we went to Lourdes, where the miracles of Lourdes have happened, and I did a half-hour interview with a, a priest in French, but I speak no French. So he spoke, and I just said yes, and asked the next question, and he spoke, and I asked the next question. So it was kind of 
are silly, but uh, Ron, you'd have done much the same because you're a world traveller. Mm. Yes, I, and I, I know, I, I know no other foreign language other than a little bit of pig latin and, uh, <laughs> and ray you did exactly the right thing you just nod your head Keep and going. ask the next question yes <laughs> yes now i've got to ask hypothetically you're, you're both probably the two greatest newsmen on the planet mm. head to head in a ratings battle who would win between you guys well look uh i know that ray's a gentleman i'm a gentleman if we were on competing stations i would invite him out to lunch uh uh, we'd have a few cocktails, and then I'd find a moment to uh, sneak out and cut the brakes in his car. <laughs> um, but other than that, just above board, yeah. you know, well, I, made I the best man win. I reckon probably 60% of the time, yes. I'd win the ratings all the time. <laughs> well, that's hard, that's hard data right there. But damn it, I yeah. do respect you, Ron. I respect you a lot. Well, I respect you as well, and, and we had so much fun. I don't know if you remember in 1974, we at the International News Conference I do uh, down in Madagascar. <laughs> and it was you, me, Cronkite, and Kylie Minogue. And, uh, Ray took his shirt off, and all bets were off. And we, oh, my gosh. They were, they're not floppy guns, are they? They're not. They weren't back then, and they aren't today. Uh, and we drank a gallon of Kahlua and uh, <laughs> shot flare guns into the local coral reefs. And just had the best time. What else do you do? We you... woke up four days later in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Reading more about that story in, in your next autobiography, yeah. but for now, unfortunately, it won't be in there. We, we do have to wrap it up. Uh, but it's been an absolute pleasure. So, would you please thank Ron Burgundy? Thank you. Oh, how do you think your daddy did, huh? He totally blew it. That game's so oh, easy. No, it's not easy. It's a hard I'm game. I'm my other father. Oh, the other father. You have two daddies? Yeah. One, two? He's just my f.